Struggling with physics? You have come to the right channel. This is Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. This tutorial is about a photoelectric effect. This tutorial aims to solve a problem related to stopping potential and kinetic energy of the photoelectron versus the frequency of the incident photon graph. Let us solve this sample problem. It reads, when light of wavelength 254 nanometers falls on cesium, the required stopping potential is 3 volts. If the light of wavelength 436 nanometer is used, the stopping potential is 0.9 volts. Use this information to plot a graph that is shown in the figure below. And from your graph, determine the cutoff frequency for cesium and its work function. Now let us analyze the given on this problem. So when the incident light has a wavelength of 254 nanometers, so we'll call that lambda 1, that is equal to 254 nanometers, the stopping potential is 3 volts, so we call that stopping potential, or delta Vs1 is equal to 3.0 volts. Now, if the wavelength is changed to 436 nanometers, so we will call that lambda 2, that's equal to 436 nanometers, the stopping potential of the photoelectron becomes 0 0.9 volts. So delta Vs2, or the second stopping potential, is 0 0.9 volts. So how do we translate these given so that we could relate it to the graph of the kinetic energy of the photoelectron versus the frequency of the incident photon. For the kinetic energy of the photoelectron, recall that the stopping potential or the magnitude of the stopping potential is just equal to the kinetic energy of the photoelectron in electron volt. Therefore, the kinetic energy of the photoelectron in this case is just equal to 3 electron volts since the stopping potential is 3 volts. Again, the kinetic and the magnitude of the kinetic energy in electron volt, it should be in electron volt, is just equal to the magnitude of the stopping potential. Hence, our kinetic energy 1 is 3 electron volt and our kinetic energy 2 is equal to 0 0.9 volts. Furthermore, our F1 or the first frequency can be solved by the formula C divided by lambda 1. Also, our second frequency or F2 would be equal to C divided by lambda 2. And this means then our F1 is equal to 1.18 times 10 to the power of 15 hertz, while our F2 will be equal to 6.88 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz. That is 14. So now, in order for us to solve for the cutoff frequency for cesium and its work function, we have to consider that the graph of the Ke maximum, or the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron, uh, versus the frequency of the incident photon, the graph is actually a straight line. And if it's a straight line, then we could represent this graph using the equation of the line, which is y is equal to mx plus b. And looking in the graph, the quantity on the y-axis is kinetic energy max, so that's ke, is equal to the slope of the graph would be the Planck's constant multiplied by x, which is the frequency, plus the 
class the y-intercepts which is the work function and if you notice the y-intercept would be a negative value so we will have negative work function or we could rewrite this equation so that we will have ke is equal to hf minus the work function having the equation ke is equal to hf minus the work function then we could easily solve for the work function by simply substituting either either ke1 and f1 to this equation or ke2 and f2 to ke is equal to hf minus theta so for example i'm going to solve for the work function using the second set of values ke2 and f2 then i'm gonna have 0 0.9 0 0.9 electron volt which is ke2 minus the work um, Planck's constant which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 4 negative 34 joules per second multiplied by the frequency or the second frequency which is 6.88 times 10 to the power of positive 14 hertz or per second minus the work function now if you notice this entire quantity here which is our hf will actually have a unit of joule because this second here cancels with the per second there and therefore the unit here is in joule however our kinetic energy is expressed in electron volt and in fact the unit that we're going to use for the work function is actually electron volt so therefore we have to change this part of the equation to electron volt and to do that we could rewrite our equation so that we will now have 0 0.9 electron volt is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules multiplied by 6.88 times 10 to the power of 14 multiplied by the quantity of 1 electron volt over 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules so this is a conversion factor in order for us to change the joule to electron volt and we will have minus the work function so now all of our units are now expressed in electron volt and now manipulating this equation would give us the value of the work function to be equal to 1.95 electron volt and due to the fact that we have rounded off something as we move along with our process that therefore and that's the reason why we had a slight difference in the answer but 1.95 is actually acceptable and within the tolerance value of the answer set in WebAssign now that we have our work function we could easily solve for the cutoff frequency remember that when we're talking about the cutoff frequency or fc this means that the kinetic energy of the photoelectron let me write that down the kinetic energy of the photoelectron is equal to zero and it is for that reason that we can find fc here at this point wherein the kinetic energy corresponds to zero so the frequency at which the kinetic energy is zero is actually our cut of frequency so having this equation we can substitute ke to zero then we could rewrite the equation ke which is zero is just equal to hf and therefore this f here our frequency is the cut of frequency minus the work function or simply we could rewrite this as 
the work function is equal to the Planck's constant multiplied by the cutoff frequency. Now let now let us substitute our work function. So we have solved the work function earlier, which is equal to 1.95 electron volt. So that would be 1.95 electron volt is equal to the Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second multiplied by the cut of frequency now notice that our kinetic energy is expressed in electron volt and our Planck's constant is expressed in joules second so we can change either the joules to electron volt or the electron volt to joules so let's change 1.95 electron volt to joule so to do that we will have uh, 1.95 electron volt multiplied by the quantity of 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule divided by 1 electron volt so that allows us to cancel the electron volt and therefore the kinetic energy now is expressed in joule and we have um, and that is equal to rather to 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules second multiplied by the cut of frequency. Manipulating this equation would lead us to the cut of frequency or FC to be equal to 4.71 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz now the discrepancy in the answer that is set in web assign is due to the fact that before arriving at the final answer we already have rounded off something but don't worry 7 uh, 4.71 times 10 to the negative 14 is within the tolerance set by web assign so this is still acceptable and that concludes this tutorial once again, always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.